Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm building this week, I'm actually building a few videos for, uh, uh, you know, participating in the NASA SpaceX challenge because this is what's coming up in two weeks so that you are prepared to build something breakthrough. Uh, one of the challenges that I see from people is that how do I use NASA data API and some of them work, some of them don't work and you know, what is that mechanism? So let's use generative AI uh, to actually help us out on the API side as well as you know, if you want to download some stuff, you know, maybe in the bulk download, bulk upload, rag, we can talk about those things separately. But at this moment, let's use a verified API, which works and how to go about building and doing it. Again, I have not touched it. I don't know much about it. So we might run into some issues, but let's uh, uh, solve the problems together. Some of you might be a really expert on it. This is not for you. This is for the uh, some uh, some of you who doesn't know much about it and getting into it. Okay, okay. Why don't we jump right in? So if you look at if you go to a Space Apps Challenge. Uh, uh, and you go to explore hackathon and 2025 challenges and then you come to this page where all the all 18 challenges and one create your own exist so again i have worked with another one so i'll i'll just uh use uh, again randomly why don't i do a random blah 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 okay good meteor madness so what it is let's just read this a new newly identified near earth asteroid impactor 2025 poses a potential threat to earth but do we have the tool to enable the public and decision makers to understand the and mitigate its risk nasa data sets include information about known asteroids and the united states geological survey provides critical information that could enable uh, modeling the effect of asteroid impacts but this data needs to be Visual uh, integrated into enable uh, to enable effective visualization and decision making. Now let's look at your challenge. Your challenge is to develop an interactive visualization and simulation tool uh, uses real data to help user model asteroid impact scenarios, predict consequences, and evaluate potential mitigation strategies. So let's just focus on these things, not the whole thing. Um, I'm just gonna focus on a particular data set. So uh, I've shown you before how to create a prompt. So I'm gonna open up, let's uh, try Cloud. Why not? You know, we used ChatGPT. I'm gonna use Cloud this time. And I can powerful large model for complex challenges. We can do Opus, but I'm not sure if it's available for everybody, but let's jump on it. Why don't I use it? You can use Sonnet as well. It doesn't make much of a difference. So what I'm gonna do, uh, uh, create a prompt to utilize, uh, give me one second, sorry. I was typing it right in front of in my keyboard. I should be uh, typing in the extended keyboard. Uh, create a prop uh, to utilize NASA data API for the problem below. Okay. Must use live data. Uh, I intentionally want to do this in such a way without any knowledge and I'm not an AT, a, API expert, okay? Uh, must use live data. So what I need to do at this, I'm gonna move it out. At this moment, I'm gonna do this uh, summary. I just copied that, okay? I tap the challenge statement and I'm gonna provide the challenge statement. Say end of challenge statement, okay? Then I'm gonna uh, beginning of data sources, okay? And end of 
data sources. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give the beginning of the, uh, the data sources. I'll go to the resources page and I'm just gonna copy and paste all these data sources. from here give me one second let me control C or command C if you're using Mac uh, how come it's not give me one second I am just let me just do this copy and oh unable to paste it okay why don't I do these things Again, these are the problems that you're gonna be facing. I'm gonna make it a smaller and I'll take uh, a picture, okay? Why not? And I will upload that picture, uh, upload a file. I'll upload this screenshot and Oh, actually it did. Oh, so see, I made a mistake. This is not like ChatGPT. Uh, I can, I'm gonna remove. I have copied it four times. So I'm just gonna keep that. Uh, I'll say data sources are attached. Must use all APIs provide a management of APIs, guide if authentication uh, required, how to get those, okay? Uh, let's build. So what I want to do is I actually provided Claude. We could do that with ChatGPT. We could do the Gemini. Could do that with Lovable. You have seen we built something with Lovable before. So I'm gonna see what it does. Again, the user wants me to create a prompt that utilizes NASA Data API for challenge uh, about developing an interactive visual simulation tool for asteroid impact. Yes, that's the one. So it was able to read it. NASA Near Earth Object, which is NEO data. Uh, said US Geological Survey, which is USGS data, which would coming in from earthquake catalog, uh, national map elevation data, small body database query tool for uh, capillary and uh, parameters of NEO. So there is a bunch of different data sources that you see. Some of the data comes in JSON format, uh, prompt to utilize these APIs. Okay, so let's see. Build an interactive web application that visualizes, okay, fantastic. Uh, primary data source so I have to create this and get my API key constant NASA data API your API key here um, and then it will tell you how to get the API keys okay fantastic so you have to get this let's just sign up why not open the link I'll go here get started no, I'm just gonna get the API key. I'll do at gmail.com plan to create a N A A uh, no plan to participate to participate in NASA Space Apps Challenge Hackathon. Makes sense, whatever you like. I'm gonna sign up. Uh, your API key has been emailed to you. Fantastic. So I already have an API key, looks like. And now it should be, so this is how you get the API keys, all right? Then small body database query. So I can get the API keys. Uh, okay, so for each one that you are collecting the data, I have to go and get this one. So I got the maybe the first API key that I have received. Um, 
and this is NASA API key near rest okay so this is what I'm gonna do because of the fact it give uh, and we have limited amount of time you see that each of the instruction and I'm just gonna copy this I'll go to lovable and what I'm gonna do I will create an app to visualize data from NASA using API okay I'm just gonna do this I'll type this up uh, and I'm just gonna put my key here give me one second uh, okay uh, give me one second I'm just gonna go to my email uh, and see if I can get my API keys you want to keep the API key hidden okay so what I'm gonna do while I'm just gonna type it up and run it this is the best practice not to expose your API keys so while lovable again you can see it um, I'll delete it afterwards but for lovable whenever you get these things it's gonna come up with uh, API keys and you can come up with those API keys it's building that application to show how you can fetch the data from API key and to visualize the data it's very simple I wanted to show you I'll go back to Claude uh, where is the Claude right here okay um, this is very interesting because of the fact it is guiding you how to do this now it's gonna tell you okay now I that get all this stuff this is my implementation guide this is my asteroid impact simulator okay that's uh, you get the NASA API key then you get the other API key, API management, how are you doing it? So it actually gives you all the codes, the way that you'd like to do it. And you can take, uh, copy and paste each of the codes or you can modify the way that you like it, but it gives you the foundational uh, code element of it. Or instead of code, let's say you want to build it in a, in a, in a front end environment with the full application, full stack application, you can go a bunch of different places and build it. Like I use lovable.dev, you can go to, you know, bolt.diy, you know, all of those things. Or you can actually go to Firecracker that you can install locally and you can run it locally as well. So uh, utilizing these things will make your API, adding API easy. Uh, and some of the data you will not get. I, I was thinking about like, okay, if I run into a problem, how do I fix it? So I think... At that time, you can just screenshot it and give it back to Claude or Gemini or uh, ChatGPT, whoever you're using, ask them to solve it and make sure you provide the proper context to get that thing uh, resolved. You would need a little bit of technical knowledge because I think troubleshooting API keys require uh, a little further knowledge than it can be done asking because we might not know how to ask proper context. So that's why the development experience will be easier if your team has a developer, uh, ask that person to do it or a machine learning expert to do it. So I wanted to actually uh, show you what the outcome is of that API that we just put it in, uh, uh, put it in lovable. So it actually shows NASA Cosmos uh, explore near Earth object and real time data from NASA's planetary defense system. This is the asteroid tracker shows total number of this is a real data that I have collected using my API keys and uh, various uh, uh, you can see all these things you can manipulate all different ways this is just a visualization dashboard you can provide some uh, other things you know some of the asteroids like hazardous only if I want to look into these things these actually do hazardous filter FR5 and how uh, you know closest approach would be September 13th and it was 23 million kilometer away so you get to see this is a real time I just got it again I typed it in a, I said that just provide me a visualization I can ask it to do it differently so this would provide all those data points so I wanted to make sure that you do understand that if you want to build something you can build with any other vibe coding environment get that API data and put that into it
so this is a, a little bit of a visualization of it you can create you can see how amazing <laughs> pictures that it also created and the background and the modern slick looking type of things that you can get uh, there is a lot of things that you want to look into any way that you like you know uh, any way you can build you can customize those things so with that, uh, we're going to finish it up today here. Um, I know I wanted to keep it under 10 minutes, but it's already over 10 minutes. Uh, I would uh, really, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all of your uh, amazing work, innovative things. I know from Bangladesh, we have been champion four times. So looking for another champion next year. Um, hopefully this helps. And again, this is just the beginning of it. You have to do some iteration. You got to learn these things. Um, it would be applicable in your real world, uh, for your real world experience as well. Something you want to build as a startup, something you want to work for a company. Uh, so it just helps you troubleshooting stuff collecting the data, getting live data, large volume of live data to uh, build something amazing. You know, we have built something amazing before, right before this video. So you can look into those things. So with that, I'm gonna finish it up here again. So you have learned how to use NASA Data API, get that proper code and use one of the tools or you can use any any gen ai tools actually that would provide you nowadays with the full codex uh, full coding uh, uh, and and full end-to-end uh, -end gui guidance of it okay you get the error handling so you see it also gives you a checkbox a, a guide checkbox guide uh, so with that i'm gonna try to share this with you as well uh, if you want uh, uh, again if you have any question ask any question uh, uh, any feedback is appreciated Thank you very much. I am uh, looking forward to seeing you. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening.